Town Motors, located in the heart of the North Country, wants to be your first choice for your next new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat, or pre-owned vehicle. Doing business in New England for more than 50 years, we continue to provide exceptional sales and service with a down-home feel. Part of the Auto Saver Group and home of the big deal, check us out at CrosstownMotors.net or visit us at 650 Meadow Street in scenic Littleton, New Hampshire. If you thought that first game was going to be interesting, you got two unbeaten teams here at Littleton High School going at it here. The number one, and you could argue the number one and two ranked teams. Derry Field is in there as well. They're also 10 and 0. But this one, a lot of interest locally. Profile and Littleton, and I expect to see quite a shootout here, Paul Wheeler. Well, it should be. These teams have both scored over 80 points a number of times and average big numbers. I think both of these teams, and we'll talk about it here in the pregame, but they average 72 points a game, both teams. So uh, there's apt to be a, a very quick flow to this one. All right, and once again, here are our sponsors for the second game of the doubleheader, Littleton Chevrolet and Crosstown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Fiat. Hadlock Group Best Insurance and Conquer Group Insurance Companies, White Mountains Community College, W.W. Berry's Transportation, Berlin City Auto Group, Maplewood Golf Course, Mountain View Dental, Napa, and uh, CNS Auto and Truck Parts, The Little Grill, Littleton Freehouse Tap Room and Eatery, Lahoots Apartments, Presby Energy, Hiller Orthodontics, Paulson Lumber, Iron Furnace Brewing, Ward Law Group, Ward Law Group, um, Fireside Hearth and Leisure, the News and Sentinel, our very own NSN Digital Download and DVD Store, Norcom Mortgage, Hammerdown Construction, and Franconia Base, Franconia Base Camp. So let's take a break, and we'll be back with the starting lineups and keys to the game you're watching, the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN Broadcast Network. I think college was for other people, but after a lot of hard work and thanks to an incredible support system, now I know I'm exactly where I need to be. Since 1972, W.W. Berry has been providing dependable bus and shuttle services for the people of northern New Hampshire. Located on Route 3 in Lancaster, New Hampshire, the dependable people at W.W. Berry are happy to service any of your transportation needs. They can provide bus services and shuttling for athletics, organization trips, and many other events. Available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Give W.W. Berry a call at 603-636-6100. At the Maplewood Golf Club in Bethlehem, New Hampshire, golf is not just a sport. It's a Donald Ross-designed journey through lush fairways, rolling slopes, and immaculately manicured greens. It is breathtaking views of the presidential range and crisp mountain air in your lungs. It is a fresh challenge and new opportunities on every hole, especially our legendary par 6, the 16th hole. Come play the Maplewood and discover why many golfers consider our course the jewel of the White Mountains. Visit our website to book your tea time and learn more. www.maplewoodgolfresort.com At Mountain View Dental, our state-of-the-art facility features modern equipment and technology. We offer individualized care to make your dental experience comfortable, safe, and efficient. Mountain View Dental, our family caring for yours. If RPMs raise your BPMs, if the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care. Here to keep you firing on all cylinders. The Little Grill, where fresh ingredients make great food. Try our Brazilian barbecue, featured every Friday and Saturday from 5 until 9 p.m. All meats cooked over a wood fire. The Little Grill, New Hampshire, that's Little Grill with an E. 
Littleton Freehouse Tap Room and Eatery is the heart of the community, where locals and visitors alike come together to enjoy delicious food, artisanal cocktails, and craft beer. Whether you're looking for a relaxed bite to eat with friends or a special occasion meal, come on down and experience everything the Littleton Freehouse has to offer. Lahoots Apartments has one-bedroom and two-bedroom studio apartments with heat included. We also allow pets. Located in Littleton and Bethlehem. For rental information, please contact Heidi at 603-444-0333 or visit our website, lahootapartments.com, for a virtual tour or to fill out an online application. This broadcast is protected by NSN's copyright and is intended for the exclusive enjoyment of our online viewers. Any unauthorized use of this broadcast, including sharing, reproducing, or distributing any content, descriptions, or game accounts without NSN's explicit consent is strictly prohibited. And tonight's starting lineups are being brought to you by the Hadlock Group, Best Insurance, and the Concord Group Insurance Company's a fourth-generation family-owned insurance agency that's been providing local customers with auto, home, and business insurance since 1928. The Hadlock Group is highly involved with New Hampshire's outdoor recreational programs, trails, and clubs. And here with the starting lineups and a whole bunch of other stuff, here's my good friend Paul Wheeler. Jonathan, thanks very much for visiting Profile. As we mentioned, they come in at 10-0. They're number two in New Hampshire's Division IV. Profile came into this season knowing they had a chance to be New Hampshire's top dog in Division IV, and nothing they've done so far should change that thinking. In addition to their 10-0 record in the regular season, they won the annual Holiday Bash Tournament held during holiday break by beating Derryfield, Division III Raymond, Division II Co-Brown, Division I Wyndham, and Division II Sanborn in the championship game. And how about these numbers? They score an average of 72 points per game while allowing just 46. They sit one-tenth of a point behind Littleton for the number one ranking and would like nothing more than to take over that top spot with a win here tonight. And the profile starters, number four, Jackson Clough. Number 10, Josh Roby. Number 11 is Carson Roby. Number 12, Riley Plant. Number 21, Alex Leslie. For head coach Mitchell Roy, who's assisted by Jeff Woodward, and John Roby. Keys to the game for profile, according to Coach Roy. Locate Hoskins, take care of the ball, and play with a next play mentality. And the home team, the Littleton Crusaders, also 10 wins, no losses. They're number one in New Hampshire's Division Four. So we already talked about their opponent's gaudy numbers. Well, the Crusaders' starts are equally as impressive. They score 72 points per game and give up just an average of 51. They've scored 79 points or more four times this season, and their lowest scoring output was a 61-point effort in a win over Portsmouth Christian. This team can score from anywhere on the court. Tonight, rebounding will be important in slowing down Profile's second and third chance opportunities. Their 10-0 record features just two games in which they haven't beaten their opponent by at least 10 points. A win tonight will keep them in the number one spot with seven games left in the regular season. And the Littleton starters, number three, Dre Akins. Number 10 is Caden Hoskins. Number 13, Sam Reggie. Number 15, Landon Lord. Number 22, Grady Hadlock. For head coach Trevor Howard, assisted by Joe Walker and Charlie Paradise, and the keys to the game, according to Coach Howard. Find shooters, contain on the dribble, limit turnovers, and good ball movement. And tonight's lineups have been brought to you by the Hadlock Group, Best Insurance, and Concord Group Insurance Company. Companies, excuse me, giving back to the youth and athletic programs throughout New England. Interesting uh, point that Coach Trevor Howard pointed out to me. Somebody told him that they're a 20-point underdog tonight. I find that hard to believe, but wow. uh, we'll see that. Maybe we'll see that or not. Let's take a break. We'll be back with the opening tap. You're watching the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN Broadcast Network. Have you been injured and don't know what to do next? In New Hampshire, there's a law firm that consistently exceeds client expectations. Ward Law Group. A law firm that stands out for its continued support of the community. Ward Law Group. A law firm that's ready to fight for you. Ward Law Group. Remember this, we don't get paid unless you get paid. I couldn't say it better myself. In New Hampshire, there's a law firm for you. The Ward Law Group. WardLawNH.com. At Fireside Hearth and Leisure, our goal is to keep our customers warm and happy through our long winter season. As a family-owned and operated business, we take pride in our commitment to our customers before, during, and most importantly, after the sale. We can install a beautiful new fireplace or stove, a new chimney cap, or a video inspection of your chimney. 
give us a call at 603-838-5125 for all your fireplace and chimney needs. Everything you need to stay informed about community events, town and school governments, the local business scene, student activities, and high school sports can be found in the pages of the News and Sentinel, the North Country's trusted hometown paper since 1870. Their dedicated staff provides the area with comprehensive news coverage and door-to-door advertising service, giving their all to produce a great paper week in and week out. To start a subscription or promote your business, stop by their office at 6 Bridge Street in downtown Colebrook, New Hampshire. Give them a call at 6 603-237-5501 or visit them online colebrooknewsandsentinel.com Here in the Bank of the Wild we help our customers start their adventures every single day like our friend Kenny I've always had big ideas but my businesses were not always successful there was trial and error but then I struck gold with Pesumsic their lenders made me a priority and we turned my passion project into a profitable business hello Squatch Watch so be like Kenny and start your adventure at Pesumsic Bank. Oh, a sighting. Seriously, I missed him again? In loving memory of sports enthusiasts and dedicated professional and a true champion of Northeast Sports Network, Johnny Allen Jr. For years, Johnny graced our airwaves with his infectious enthusiasm, bringing the excitement of the game straight to your living rooms. He was more than a broadcaster. He was a storyteller who painted vivid pictures with his words. He bought himself some time, tried to cut it back inside, saw the defensive line was there, rolled to his right, and look who was wide open. You will never see a better football play in high school football than what you can. Johnny. All right. All the all the talk is over with. Yeah, the talk's over with it is uh, Terrell Owens, I think, maybe was the first one to say it. Folks at home, get your popcorn ready. And the opening tap will be Alex Leslie against Caden Hoskins. Of course, uh, you might remember in the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, opening up the uh, seats on stage here next to us because they've got a standing room only crowd right now. So there are going to be... Uh, uh, fans in our midst here before too long. And uh, they're all moving over this away. And hopefully they will realize that I don't want them interfering with the <laughs> broadcast. Jackson Clough will take the tap. And we're underway here, folks. Two teams at 10-0 and 0 fighting for that number one spot in New Hampshire Division Four basketball. Roby fakes the three, gets the banker up and good. So Carson Roby with the first basket of the ball. Give me a minute. Nice fake on Grady Hadlock. Got him up in the air and then had an open lane to the basket. I think both teams might hit 70 tonight. Landon Lord, by the way, has really been bothered by injuries for the last couple of seasons. Seems like he gets hurt every sport he plays, but he's on the floor tonight. Goes to the basket. Oh, great up and under move, and he banks it in. Strong move by Landon Lord. Yeah, Landon took that little Europe, Europe step there and uh, uh, got through without traveling. Found his way to the hoop. Josh Roby, of course, is the big number guy for profile. He's got Lord on him. He tries to find a lane and can't, so he pulls it back out again. He goes by Reggie, gets the runner up. Front iron no good, and the offensive rebound grabbed out of there by Alex Leslie. Did a good job, not traveling, but then he throws it in the backcourt, and that'll be a turnover. Good athletic play by Leslie, but he just kind of lost his balance. Over, He fell over one of the players on the ground, and then his pass ends up going into the backcourt. There is some athletic ability on the court here for both teams. Trey Aikens, probably the fastest guy out there. Oh, great no look by Hoskins, and now back out for a Lord three. A little bit long. The rebound knocked around and finds its way back to Dre Akins. Akins fakes the three, gets into the paint. Now going baseline is Hadlock. Good feed for Hoskins, and that's good. Really nice assist that time. He drove the baseline, found his teammate Hoskins in the middle of the uh, lane. And Hoskins did a nice job not being in there longer than three seconds. Leslie trying to force his way by Hadlock, finds an open plant, and he's going to be called for a travel. Referee Bruce Mason on the call. One of the top officials here from this region for sure. 
Aikens brings it over the mid-floor line. Two minutes in, 4-2, favor of Littleton. Turnaround jumper by Hoskins, no good, but swooping in for the rebound. Reggie back out for Hoskins. And Hoskins wanted the three right there, but right on top of him was Kay, uh, Carson Roby. So they'll slow it down a little bit. Jump step into the uh, paint. Now getting the runner up, Lord. He banks it up, no good. Muscles the rebound away, but then loses it to Leslie, who finds Roby behind the group. And he lays it up and good. So the Robies have the four points for profile. Almost stolen there by Caden uh, Wakeham, who's in the game now. That runner was a peck play by Reggie, but it's not going to count. <laughs> no, that foul was occurred while the ball was on the floor before he f- took those uh, steps toward the hoop. So it'll be Littleton basketball. Mike Rodriguez comes into the game for Littleton. Remember the last time we were here, he had 16 points in the first quarter. Hey, Hoskins from three, a little bit short. And grabbing the rebound was yeah. Wakeham, or I'm sorry, Leslie, and he was fouled. Yeah, Aikens went over the top from behind. Good call by the official there. Kind of hard for uh, Dre Aikens to go over the top of anybody. Boy, I... but uh... <laughs> he, he gets up. Hayden Wakeham, by the way, number 22, I think could be the X factor for profile in this game. Leslie lost it but regains. Profile looking to take their first lead of the ball game. Goes by Rodriguez, gets into the paint, and he's able to draw a foul. And they're going to call that a shooting foul. He did a nice job at the last minute. He's going down, flipping that ball up toward the hoop, and did get the officials give him a two uh, two shot opportunity. Both fouls have been called on Dre Aiken, so it looks like he's going to come out of the game. And the free throw is up and no good by uh, uh, Josh Roby. And first lead of the game for Profile as they lead it 5-4. to four. And uh, Landon Lord back in for uh, Aikens. High post feed for the turnaround by Hoskins, and that's good. And Coach Mitchell Roy said they need to keep an eye on where Hoskins is, and Hoskins so far is finding a little room there in the lane. Not normally his shooting spot either. So no, usually uh, he's out a little deeper than that. Roby lobs a three, and that's good. Wow, he got that off in a hurry, didn't he? He's got six, and that it's was eight six. Catch and shoot. And high post feed into the corner now. Brady Hadlock lobs back out for Lord. And Rodriguez pulls up for three. And a little bit long, and Leslie grabs the rebound. Yeah, nice rebound by Leslie that time. It looked like Roby had an opportunity, and also um, Hoskins took it away from him. Leslie now feeds Roby for three, and that's good. He gets hot. He's scary. This is a good shooting team that Profile brings in here to Littleton's gym. Going to have to guard well. So the last six points have been scored on threes by Josh Roby. Baseline feed for a jumper by Hadlock. Front iron no good, but Reggie grabs a rebound. Goes up and, oh, that was a great reverse layup by Reggie. Really nice underhand layup there on the backside. Got away from the defense, giving himself some room. Wakeham. Lobs to Leslie, and he's able to draw the foul on Hoskins as he knocks it down. Hoskins uh, didn't get him with the arms, but he did get him with the body. So this could be the third consecutive trip down the floor with three points for Leslie if he's able to make this free throw, which he does. And he's got his first three points, and it's 14-8. to eight. So a 9-2 to two run here by the Patriots. Coach Mitchell Roy over there with a little slow uh, clap on the way down the court. He's happy with the way things have gone so far. Reggie into the high post for a turnaround by Hoskins. Front iron no good, and Clough grabs the rebound. Lost his balance, but is able to get it 
into the hands of Roby. I think Rodriguez may have been the reason for that loss of balance there. Looked like there was a little bit of contact. In the high post, Leslie gets the runner up. No good. Tried to draw the foul as Reggie grabs his third rebound. And he gets a nice little feed underneath for the missed layup. Grabbing of the rebound is Rodriguez, and he makes it. That was an impressive play. Got the rebound, spun around, back to the hoop, laid it in. 14 to 10 is your score, 208. Remaining here in quarter number one, Carson Roby, who scored the first basket of the game. Oh, great no look for Clough, who banks it up and yeah, good. Nice pass. So this is kind of what we thought we were going to see. Hadlock skips across for Rodriguez, who managed to make a nice catch. Hoskins wanted the jump shot, but got tied up, so he goes back out for the three by Rodriguez. Doesn't get the roll, and Wakeham comes away with the rebound. Rodriguez, just a freshman. Rodriguez seems to have the same mentality that uh, Hoskins had when he was a sophomore a couple years ago, my first season. Leslie gets the runner up, and it spins in. And he does a little bit of a flex as he will go for his second attempt at the traditional three-point play. Yeah, he's a hard player to stop in the lane once he gets momentum. Really nice play there by Alex Leslie. Front iron no good, and Hoskins grabs the rebound. Five for Leslie, nine for Roby. And Hoskins. those two profile stars were uh, on the all-tournament team in that summer holiday bash that we talked about earlier in the pregame. Both of players were on the all-tournament team. Caden Hoskins will go to the free throw line. I believe that foul was on Clough. And on the girls' side in that tournament, I think I neglected uh, Maya Brown was on the uh, all-tournament team for the profile girls as well. Caden Hoskins now with five. And it's 18 to 11. And that one spins in and out, but Rodriguez grabs the rebound and sticks the foot back. That was a nice play getting inside the profile uh, rebounder, putting it back up quickly for two. 18 13 as we're into the last minute. Clough had a lane, now he moves to his right. Josh Roby tries to work his magic. Gets the runner up no good and grabbing the rebound is Camden Cook who's out there for the first time. And they're going to call a blocking foul on Carson Roby who comes flying up off the ground. Did not like in that well, call. Well, he didn't like the call, but I think he was moving, trying to get into, uh, into Rodriguez's path. And he certainly did, but it looked like he did initiate the contact. So it's Camden Cook. Landon Lord, Sam Reggie, Caden Hoskins, and Mike Rodriguez. And Rodriguez hits the first free throw. 18-14. You're watching the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN Broadcast Network as the second free throw is no good. Grabbed on the rebound by Clough. Now Carson Roby feeds his brother Josh, who takes the three a little bit long. And Rodriguez grabs another rebound. That's three for him. Up ahead, so we're down to 20 seconds. Trevor, Trevor has got to be excited, doesn't he, to have Rodriguez for three more years after this? Well, he's going to lose Hoskins and Aikens, among others, after this season. And the referee got in the way as Roby made the steal, and he has pocket picked by Lord. There's Looked like that ball might have been out of bounds over there on the sideline. Rodriguez right? takes the three at the buzzer, no good. As the referee got checked into the bench there. And, and he's okay. He's all right. He's up smiling about it. This uh, timeout brought to you by White Mountains Community College. Hiller Orthodontics is proud to support Littleton basketball teams. Just as we're committed to creating winning smiles with our braces and Invisalign treatments, we're cheering on every slam dunk and three-pointer. Catch the action with us for your orthodontic needs. Visit HillerOrtho.com or call 888-888. 445-5372. Norcom Mortgage is your local residential mortgage lender in Littleton. Whether you're looking to buy your dream home or refinance your current mortgage, Norcom has the solutions for you. 
Kim Doolin and her knowledgeable team of experts will ensure you get the best mortgage that fits your needs. Experience the Norcom difference today. Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. And Presby Energy Incorporated is a family-owned and operated business that is deeply rooted in the North Country. We deliver home heating fuels, including oil, kerosene, and diesel. Presby Energy strives to provide a level of service that fully satisfies the customer's needs and exceeds their expectations. Check us out online at presbyenergy.com or call 603-823-5298. Okay, fast-paced first quarter of action. 18-14 to 14 was your score. Andre Aiken's back in the ball game as we start the second quarter with uh, Littleton in possession. It's Cook, Aikens, Hoskins, Lord, and Reggie on the floor. And I'm sorry, Rodriguez on the floor. Quick bullet pass. They're really moving the ball around quickly. Aikens has the ball knocked away from him by Carson Roby. Yeah, good first quarter of action here. Three-pointer attempt by Hoskins, no good, and another rebound by Clough. Their, uh, their forwards are good rebounders. Clough, Leslie, Wakeham. Leslie now with a little hesitation move. Goes under the basket. Tried to feed Clough. He couldn't handle. He backs in on Hoskins and banks it up in good. Nice job. Gave himself just a little bit of a little bit of extra space. Putting that shoulder down a little bit. But not creating a lot of contact. Good job. Akins nails the three as he's back on the floor. And it's now 20-17. And Profile has to be happy with that first quarter coming in here in enemy territory and uh, leaving the first quarter with a lead. And an offensive foul called on Leslie. Might have been better for Profile if he'd been called for the walk that he probably uh, committed it as well. Have, could have been either, I think. And Reggie will come back in for Camden Cook. Now, almost every game I've ever done for Littleton, Camden Cook hits a three. We'll see if okay. that happens over the course of this game. Two fouls now on Alex Leslie. Fans wanted to travel, I think, because the jumper's up and in and out. By That's about the fourth shot that's gone in and out for uh, Littleton. It's Roby, the, the Robies, Wakeham, Leslie, and Clough out there. Lobbed into the corner. Wakeham goes baseline, gets cut off. Good de switching defense. Clough now tries to get through, and they're going to call a trip, I guess, on uh, Sam Reggie. So it's uh, going to be on Rodriguez. I think he put up 11. Let's see. And it's lobbed in to Leslie on the restart. Now for a long three by Carson Roby. Long shot. A long rebound comes out to Aikens. And that was on Rodriguez, and that's his first. Reggie in the high post for the turnaround by Hoskins, and he nails it again. That. I've never seen him so, you know, like setting up for that shot, but he's nailed it three yeah, out of four times. They've changed things up tonight, haven't they? They're putting him inside. He's a nice, pure shooter, though, isn't he? Three by Roby, no good, and Rodriguez grabs the rebound. Rodriguez, five points and four rebounds in the ballgame. Good ball fake by Hoskins. Baseline move by Lord, gets it up and doesn't get the roll, but Hoskins gets the offensive board. That's no good, and Clough comes away with the rebound. Clough is tough on the boards. They had an opportunity to regain the lead there, and the shot just wouldn't go. This is a good profile basketball team. They work very well together. Team chemistry seems to be excellent. Leslie, and he made a pass toward, oh, they're going to say it was off the hand of Rodriguez. And that referee seemed to be the only one who thought so. He's looking for some help. And Bruce Mason says, no, it's yep. profile yep. You, got, you got it right. Roby, Carson Roby holding against his opposite number, Rodriguez. Now Josh Roby into the lane. Didn't have a shot, so he feeds now for Leslie. And then the Clough and back to Leslie for three, and that's good. Both of these teams really move the ball well on offense. Little snap passes and very, very quick. Rodriguez in the corner with Leslie on him. He tries to go by him, does, and forces it up and good. And he, uh, Clough tried to draw the offensive he, foul, but he wasn't successful. Not as much scoring in this quarter. 
five, seven to five in favor of Littleton so far. Wow, wild shot by Roby. Clough had the rebound, but then lost it. And wow, they're really fighting hard yeah. for the ball there. Yeah, there was some contact there. Could be called on either player. And it goes back to Littleton with an opportunity for them to Jackson, regain the lead. Jackson Clough picked up that foul, by the way. And that'll be two on him. About halfway through the second quarter. Tight ball game, as anybody could have guessed, I suppose. Boy, two good teams. Three-pointer by Rodriguez, and it hit the side of the backboard. Good job uh, kind of uh, altering that shot by Leslie. This is for the number one ranking in the state midway through the season, folks. You joined us a little bit late. Both of these teams are 10-0. Profile tra trails Littleton in the rankings. Number one and number two by one-tenth of a point. Caden Wakeham forces his way in and is able to knock it down. His first points of the game. Hoskins had it knocked away from behind, so he goes out for Lord and then a no-look pass, but Hoskins able to corral it somehow. Yeah, that was a bullet. Trey Aikens wanted to take the three. He lobs it across for Lord. Well, Profile well. defense really adjusted well to that skip pass. Looked like Lord was going to be open for a three, but the defense collapsed really quickly. Still at 23-21. And it's, there's a lot of scoring in the first quarter, not nearly as much in this one. Two well-coached teams here. Leslie lobs to the baseline for Wakeham, who's being met by Dre Aikens. And... Both teams really hustling on defense tonight. Clough now for Wakeham, who tries a spin move on Aikens, almost had it taken away. Now Leslie, a little off balance, but uh, he gets it back outside the three-point line to Josh Roby, who gets the runner-up, and they're going to call it no shot. He claims that he was uh, in the mo act, but I don't think he was. No, foul was on the floor. And that'll be Landon Lord on the foul. A lot of focus defensively by both of these clubs as they both know that their opponent has averaged 72 points a game and that they're going to have to play defense. Now Carson Roby tried to go baseline, but he was cut off a three by Wakeham, and that's good. So the three-point uh, game is definitely in favor of uh, profile this time around. Now it's a... Uh, it's a seven-point lead. I think they forgot to put a couple of points up on the board a little bit ago. So it's 28-21. Runner by Lord, way out of control, and he took some steps. Yeah, I think he got surprised that there was room once he got through there. He looked like he took an extra step because he was expecting contact and didn't find any. So Leslie... And Josh Roby leading the way, as expected. Seven-point lead for Profile. Clough tries to go by Hoskins. Does. Misses the reverse layup, and Rodriguez pulls the rebound out of there. Five points and five rebounds for him. Trey Aikens tried to get into the paint, but couldn't. Now baseline feed for Lord goes up on uh, Clough and can't get the roll as Wakeham takes away his second rebound of the game. Josh Roby looked like he wanted to fire that one up there. He gets tied up. That's and, a travel. And he's called for a walk. Tried to force that one a little bit. Tried to force his way through. Took an extra little shuttle step there and got called for the walk. Grady Hadlock sat out quite a bit. But he's back in there now as Landon Lord goes out. So it's Aikens, uh, Hadlock, Hoskins, Rodriguez, and Reggie against the Robies. Danny Burnell is on for the first time. Wakeham and Plant. And just a miscommunication on that pass as it goes out of bounds. So Littleton's been stuck on 21 for about three or four minutes now. Yeah, they have. They've had uh, four empty possessions, maybe five. Roby tries to go by Hadlock, forces his way in, and oh. banks it up and good. That's a great move in the lane. And Dre Aikens loses control. And taken away by Wakeham. And now maybe the game's starting to get away a little bit from Littleton. 
And Dre Akins is going to be called for trying to run through the pick of, Dan, of Plant, and that'll be his third foul. Dre's going to have to sit for this last 104. Coach Howard can't leave him in the game there with three fouls. And we'll have a timeout on the floor, which is sponsored by White Mountains Community College. Iron Furnace Brewing, located at 115 Main Street, Franconia, is a great place to stop for local craft beer and a bite to eat after hitting the slopes. We wish all the best to our student-athletes during this basketball season. Go Profile! And Hammer Down Construction LLC of Littleton, New Hampshire, has been specializing in residential development construction since 2007. Call them today at 603-444-7694 for your future projects so they can bring your dreams to reality. 104 remaining. The last seven points have been scored by Profile. 11 points by Josh Roby, 8 by Alex Leslie, 5 by Caden Wakeham. Franconia Base Camp has everything you need to stay comfortable and safe on your next winter outdoor adventure from micro spikes, darn tough stocks, gooder ski goggles, local guide books and maps to gently use ski gear, snowshoes, fat tire bikes, winter apparel, and ice skates. Visit them at 262 Main Street in Franconia. Franconia Base Camp wishes the best of luck to the Patriots. So Profile has it right in front of the Littleton bench. Josh Roby, leading score in the ball game, hands off to Caden Wakeham. Now Carson Roby hands off to Plant, who had a lane for a moment, but instead pulls it back out. Plant is going to be called for a double dribble. Six turnovers now for each team. And coming back, or coming in, excuse me, Noah Francis. And they had, they did this against um, Woodsville using Francis as uh, don't want to pick up a third foul on somebody guy at the end of the half. Hoskins pulls out for a three from the corner by Hadlock. Front iron no good, rebounded by Hadlock. And he gets it back across. Now fed down low, good feed for Hadlock, but he was tied up. And getting the ball to spin up and good is Reggie. And that was a pretty, pretty Boy, fortunate roll. They worked hard for that two points as that profile defense was stout back there. And they're going to play for the last shot, I imagine. But you can expect that Josh Roby is going to take the three, and he front irons it. I think he got fooled by the countdown. He did. Hadlock tried to go coast to coast, and he draws a foul. Well, they're not going to be shooting yet, and there's .8 seconds on the clock, so it's going to be a catch-and-shoot situation only. Any more than that, and they're not going to get a shot off. Rodriguez or Hoskins is generally the guy you'd expect to see there. And it's lobbed out for Hadlock, who cranks the three. Front iron no good. So an excellent first half of basketball. 20 to thir uh, 30 to 23 and really well played Jonathan this is a very focused group here on both parts profile really nice job getting a seven point lead into halftime on enemy territory's floor all right so let's take a break it is 30 to 23 you're watching the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN broadcast network think college was for other people but after a lot of hard work and thanks to an incredible support system now I know I'm exactly where I need to be Since 1972, WWV Berry has been providing dependable bus and shuttle services for the people of northern New Hampshire. Located on Route 3 in Lancaster, New Hampshire, the dependable people at WWV Berry are happy to service any of your transportation needs. They can provide bus services and shuttling for athletics, organization trips, and many other events. Available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Give WWV Berry a call at 603-636-6100.
At the Maplewood Golf Club in Bethlehem, New Hampshire, golf is not just a sport. It's a Donald Ross-designed journey through lush fairways, rolling slopes, and immaculately manicured greens. It is breathtaking views of the presidential range and crisp mountain air in your lungs. It is a fresh challenge and new opportunities on every hole, especially our legendary par 6, the 16th hole. Come play the Maplewood and discover why many golfers consider our course the jewel of the White Mountains. Visit our website to book your tea time and learn more. www.maplewoodgolfresort.com At Mountain View Dental, our state-of-the-art facility features modern equipment and technology. We offer individualized care to make your dental experience comfortable, safe, and efficient. Mountain View Dental, our family caring for yours. If RPMs raise your BPMs, if the open road is an open invitation, then get up and go. Go turn some heads. Go turn a wrench. Go windows down. Go volume up. Go in. Go out. Go off. Napa has America's largest network of parts and care. Here to keep you firing on all cylinders. The Little Grill, where fresh ingredients make great food. Try our Brazilian barbecue, featured every Friday and Saturday from 5 until 9 p.m. All meats cooked over a wood fire. The Little Grill, New Hampshire, that's Little Grill with an E. Littleton Freehouse Tap Room and Eatery is the heart of the community, where locals and visitors alike come together to enjoy delicious food, artisanal cocktails, and craft beer. Whether you're looking for a relaxed bite to eat with friends or a special occasion meal, come on down and experience everything the Littleton Freehouse has to offer. Lahoots Apartments has one-bedroom and two-bedroom studio apartments with heat included. We also allow pets. Located in Littleton and Bethlehem. For rental information, please contact Heidi at 603-444-0333 or visit our website, lahootapartments.com, for a virtual tour or to fill out an online application. Have you been injured and don't know what to do next? In New Hampshire, there's a law firm that consistently exceeds client expectations. Ward Law Group. A law firm that stands out for its continued support of the community. Ward Law Group. A law firm that's ready to fight for you. Ward Law Group. Remember this, we don't get paid unless you get paid. I couldn't say it better myself. In New Hampshire, there's a law firm for you. The Ward Law Group. WardLawNH.com. At Fireside Hearth and Leisure, our goal is to keep our customers warm and happy through our long winter season. As a family-owned and operated business, we take pride in our commitment to our customers before, during, and most importantly, after the sale. We can install a beautiful new fireplace or stove, a new chimney cap, or a video inspection of your chimney. Give us a call at 603-838-5125 for all your fireplace and chimney needs. Everything you need to stay informed about community events, town and school governments, the local business scene, student activities, and high school sports can be found in the pages of the News and Sentinel, the North Country's trusted hometown paper since 1870. Their dedicated staff provides the area with comprehensive news coverage and door-to-door -door advertising service, giving their all to produce a great paper week in and week out. To start a subscription or promote your business, stop by their office at 6 Bridge Street in downtown Colebrook, New Hampshire. Give them a call at 603-838-5125. 
603-237-5501 or visit them online, colebrooknewsandsentinel.com. Here in the Bank of the Wild, we help our customers start their adventures every single day. Like our friend Kenny. I've always had big ideas, but my businesses were not always successful. There was trial and error. But then I struck gold with Pesumsic. Their lenders made me a priority, and we turned my passion project into a profitable business. Hello, Squatch Watch. So be like Kenny and start your adventure at Pesumsic Bank. Oh, a sighting. Seriously, I missed him again? In loving memory of sports enthusiasts and dedicated professional and a true champion of Northeast Sports Network, Johnny Allen Jr. For years, Johnny graced our airwaves with his infectious enthusiasm, bringing the excitement of the game straight to your living rooms. He was more than a broadcaster. He was a storyteller who painted vivid pictures with his words. He bought himself some time, tried to cut it back inside, saw the defensive line was there, rolled to his right, and look who was wide open. You will never see a better football play in high school football than what you just Johnny's voice became synonymous with thrilling moments, capturing the highs and lows of sports with unparalleled charisma. Whether it was the roar of the crowd, the crack of a bat, or the thrill of a winning goal, he had a unique way of bringing the game to life. We invite you, our viewers and supporters, to join us in celebrating Johnny's life and contributions. Share your fondest memories, your favorite calls, and your tributes using the hashtag at Johnny Allen, the man, the myth, the legend. Thank you, Johnny Allen, for your unwavering commitment to the game, to our network, and to the hearts of all who had the privilege of hearing your voice. I used to think college was for other people, but after a lot of hard work and thanks to an incredible support system, now I know I'm exactly where I need to be. Welcome back to Littleton High School, where at halftime, it's 30-23 in favor of the visitors, the profile Patriots over the Littleton Crusaders. Hiller Orthodontics is proud to support the Littleton basketball teams, just as we're committed to creating winning smiles with our braces and Invisalign treatments. We're cheering on every slam and dunk three-pointer. Catch the action with us for orthodontic needs. Visit HillerOrtho.com or call 888-445-445. 5372. Norcom Mortgage is your local residential mortgage lender in Littleton. Whether you're looking to buy your dream home or refinance your current mortgage, Norcom has the solutions for you. Kim Doolin and her knowledgeable team of experts will ensure you get the best mortgage that fits your needs. Experience the Norcom difference today. Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. Presby Energy Incorporated is a family-owned and operated business that is deeply rooted in the North Country. We deliver home heating fuels, including oil, kerosene, and diesel. Presby Energy strives to provide a level of service that fully satisfies the customer's needs and exceeds their expectations. Check us out online at presbyenergy.com or call 603-823-5298. An Iron Furnace Brewing located at 115 Main Street, Franconia, is a great place to stop for local craft beer and a bite to eat after hitting the slopes. We wish all the best to our student-athletes during this basketball season. Go Profile! And Hammer Down Construction LLC of Littleton, New Hampshire, has been specializing in residential development and construction since 2007. Call them today at 603-444-7694 for your future projects so they can bring your dreams to reality. All right, two eight-minute quarters to go. A good run there of uh, seven straight points before Littleton was able to score the last basket of the half. Increased a two-point lead to a nine-point lead. And Profile will start this quarter with the ball. I have Wakeham, Clough, the Robies, and Leslie on the floor. Very impressive first half for Profiles Patriots. They came into an opposing gym and and really, really played well in that first half, especially defensively. And they also just now, Caden Wakeham just hit the team's fifth three, and that's one of the differences in this game in that uh, they've made five and Littleton's made one. Yep. Outside shooting is the difference for sure. Akins, Reggie, Hoskins, Rodriguez, and Lord in the ball game. Cross for Lord, he'll crank the three. A little bit long, and Clough is able to snag the rebound. The crowd made three on one end, and the 
and missed three on the other end has maybe quieted the crown down a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, that was a difference in the first half. Roby for his brother. And now Wakeham. Hands to Roby as they weave outside the three-point line. Wakeham has some trouble with it. Clough. Oh, if he had turned his head, he might have had a lane to the basket there. We're looking, we have the end zone view, so we're seeing a different view than you're seeing on camera as Clough takes the pass and he will draw the foul. Really nice little give and go that time, and he had space underneath there for a second. Drew the foul. He's going to get two. <laughs> the chance to increase this 10 point lead. Clough gets it to rattle in. He's got five. And again, Clough and Wakeham are big players on the uh, boards and stuff like that, but they're scoring tonight. Six for Clough, eight for Wakeham. Yeah, big contributions from those two. Profile's done a nice job getting everybody involved offensively. Reggie with the reverse layup, banks it in, so they get their first points of the second half. Reggie has a two-point basket in each quarter, and the lead is down to 35-25. Just a reminder, both of these teams average 72 points per game offensively. They're not. Littleton certainly doesn't look like they're going to get that close to that tonight, but you never know. Wakeham with the runner in the lane. His pass was knocked around. Good job getting to it by Clough. He feeds Roby, who banks it up in good. Carson Roby with that one. Carson Roby had the first basket of the game, and that was his second. And it's now 37-25. Austin's lied the basket like he was going to shoot, but Rodriguez will, and it's a little long, tap back and grab by Josh Roby. And this profile defense has extended out to that three-point line. This really made a difference. Great feed for the running layup by Alex Leslie, and it is now 10 for him, and it's a 14-point lead. Quick start here. Akins finds Rodriguez. He looks for a lane. Tough pass for Reggie. Back out for the Hoskins three. And that's a little long, and the rebound by Leslie. Yeah, still just one three-pointer for Littleton tonight. And they're still, and they're just trying hard to hang on now. Wakeham out for a wide-open ro uh, Roby, has it swatted away from behind. And now going coast to coast, Aikens, and he lays it up and good. Well, he used his speed to his advantage there. Defender and just couldn't get back in time. Quick start to this quarter, nine to four in favor of profile here in the first three minutes. Roby gets to the basket, pulls up. Front iron no good, and Hoskins grabs the rebound. He bolts back the other way. Oh, started to bolt back the other way, but then he pulls up. Rodriguez for Hoskins, who faked the three. He's got a much smaller Roby on him, but uh, now he throws it right into the hands of Josh Roby, who goes coast to coast. Tried to draw the foul. Didn't yeah, he, get it. he looked like he might have done that. Um, he moved def definitely to his left, trying to initiate contact, but did get the two points. Lead is now 14 again as Reggie goes baseline. Back out for Rodriguez. And a tough feed for Reggie, who moves it to Aikens. Jumper from the free throw line, in and out. Great offensive rebound by Rodriguez. He gets wow. the second one. He hit the bottom of the <laughs> rim with his first try and then grabbed the second rebound and knocked it down. And he got that second rebound falling away, putting it up in front of him. That was a great play. 41 to 29 is the score. Clough hands off to Josh Roby, who is now being pushed out past the three-point line by Hoskins. So he swings it to the other side. Leslie tries to go by Reggie. And he's going to be called for the foul as Reggie. Yeah, he did not get set or planted on that baseline. Good call by the official there. Leslie now backs in, feeds Clough, who had a little bit of trouble with it, blocked by Hoskins, but no, it wasn't. And one, foul is called. Once again, I think it was more the body than the hands that time as there was a little... Uh, Body contact between the two. Hoskins and Coach Howard not, not happy with that one. Clough has that 
first free throw, rattle in and out. So he's two for three from the line. Make that three for four. He's got seven. So into the lane goes Dre Aikens. He gets uh, got knocked down. He can't believe a foul wasn't called, but it wasn't. And now seven turnovers on each team. And a timeout will be called by, I think, Littleton. 3-10 to go here in the third quarter. 13-point lead for Profile. Franconia Base Camp has everything you need to stay comfortable and safe on your next winter outdoor adventure. From micro spikes, darn tough socks, gooder ski goggles, local guidebooks and maps, to gently used ski gear, snowshoes, fat tire bikes, winter apparel, and ice skates. Visit them at 262 Main Street in Franconia. Franconia Base Camp wishes the best of luck to the Patriots. So it's been a great night of basketball so far. Has been. Uh, this profile team is really impressive here in this second game tonight as they they came to play, and they have forced miscues on uh, the Littleton Crusaders that uh, sometimes typically do not, do not happen. So a lot of their long shots have fallen short, but the uh, aggressive nature of profile's defense, getting out there and guarding the three-point line, has made it really difficult to score from deep. One for whatever number of shots they've taken on threes. And the profile, they have, I don't think they've even been as good as they normally are, but they've hit five shots from three-point range, and they lead it by 13. Yeah, profile's defense has been really good, extended all the way out there to the three-point line. Leslie tries to go baseline, goes back out to Wakeham, who pulls up, and he nails it. And Caden Wakeham now with 10. He's yeah. in double digits, three players in double digits right now for the Patriots. Everybody's involved in the offense tonight for a profile. Reggie for three, and they needed that one. And Reggie with nine, and it's now 44 to 32. Yeah, that was a big basket for Littleton. See if they can jump start and get them going offensively. Josh Roby with Landon Lord on him. We haven't seen much of Grady Hadlock in this game. And Aikens manages to pick the pocket of uh, Roby, and he lays it up and good. Seven for him. Carson Roby was, uh, thought he got fouled, but it looked like a pretty clean steal. It doesn't take Dre Aikens long to get from one end of the floor to the other. Missed by Roby as the rebound is grabbed by Hoskins. He looks behind him to make sure nobody's there to steal the ball from him. Rodriguez for three, and that's way short. And maybe a little too anxious on that one. Yeah, his eyes got really, really big because for the first time he's outside the three-point line. Nobody's in his face. And uh, I, I saw the shot was going to be off. I didn't think it was going to be short, though. And Roby feeds Leslie, who is cut off. And they're going to call Dre Aikens for the foul as he got in the way. And Dre better, on be, him. better be careful with slapping those hands on the floor with uh, four fouls. Pick up a technical and he would have been done. So Hadlock comes back in for him. 44-34 is your score. And good inbounds pass, but blocked by Hoskins and taken right away by Leslie. No good as he almost got his third and one of the game. Leslie Strong just took that ball away underneath the hoop. And unfortunate for Littleton that Dre Aikens picked up his fourth foul because his speed has been one of the positives for this Crusader team tonight. And now not one foul has been called on uh, profile in this quarter. Five on Littleton. Leslie gets the second one to fall. He's so got 11. They'll be shooting on each foul called in the last minute and a half of this uh, quarter. Landon Lord back for Reggie. My lob to Hoskins. He'll turn around and take the three. Quite a bit off, but the rebound grabbed by Lord. He goes strong to the basket and draws a foul on Caden Wakeham. Nice play by Lord getting to the hoop that time. This profile defense has been really, really tough, and they've converged on the basketball. 
112 to go. That was just the first foul of this third quarter. Call on profile. And Lord hits the front of the rim. He said he's been really dogged by injuries. Pretty much every sports season it seemed like something happens to him. But he's out there. And he's able to knock down that free throw. So he has three. 45-35. And Leslie, standing at the mid-floor line, listening to Coach Mitchell Roy tell him what the plan is. Oh, that was a great move as he oh, went between two guys. That was a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> He's got five in this quarter, and it's now 47-35. High post feed. Good look for Hadlock. Feeds to Rodriguez, who banks it up and good. Yeah, nice quick passing that time, which has been missing from this Littleton offense for a lot of the game. Let's see if they play for the last shot here at 47-37. That doesn't seem to be uh, profile style. Runner in the lane. Now a three from the corner by Roby. In and out, but Leslie there for another offensive rebound. But then the pass is intercepted by Hadlock, who goes by a couple of guys. Feeds to uh, Rodriguez and was knocked out of bounds by Wakeham. Hadlock probably could have taken that to the hole himself and maybe even picked up a foul, but... That ball was definitely de, uh, deflected. Thought he had a teammate open, and it just, uh, that pathway disappeared. 20.4 seconds to go, so maybe holding for the last shot's not a bad idea. Rodriguez into the corner for the three by Reggie. Way off, rebound Rodriguez, and he got fouled by Clough, who took a finger to the eye, I think. But uh, I do believe that foul sh was correctly called, but he's down and hurt. Oh, he's bleeding right now. That was his that insult to injury. That was his third foul. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of contact there. And, oh, he's, oh, man, this is bad. Let's take a break. Well, let's hold on here. They're going to have to uh, clean the floor off here. And I didn't see, let's see if we can see the replay on that one. Yeah, I hope the young man's okay. Jackson Clough's had it pretty tough, too. He he missed a, a fair amount of the soccer season because he was hurt, he hurt his knee. And let's just take a look at that replay. Here, here's the replay. You can see the uh, contact underneath here coming up. Rebound. Yeah, it's hard to, it's really hard to tell where the contact occurred. And we've got a slight hold here in the game. Ten-point game, 47-37 in favor of Profile. And they just had one of their teammates exit the gym. Uh, everybody here a little bit concerned for sure. Yeah, he kind of fell flat. Yeah, yeah he, uh, he, he did. I think uh, maybe his nose, if I had to guess, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna speculate. But uh, uh, he did go down uh, face first after the contact. So uh, we'll certainly hope that it's nothing serious, and we see him walking back out here soon. Well, let's take a short break. It is 47:37 in favor of Profile. You're watching the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN Broadcast Network. Crosstown Motors, located in the heart of the North Country, wants to be your first choice for your next new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat, or pre-owned vehicle. Doing business in New England for more than 50 years, we continue to provide exceptional sales and service with a down-home feel. Part of the Auto Saver Group and home of the big deal, check us out at CrosstownMotors.net or visit us at 650 Meadow Street in scenic Littleton, New Hampshire. Hi, I'm Josh Santy with Polson Lumber. No, we are not closing. In fact, we are expanding. The sawmill is just shut down. We are growing in other aspects of our business. Polson Lumber, we're more than wood. We also have ProCAD insulation, alternative sidings, and engineered lumber. Come see us today at 656 Monroe Road in Littleton, New Hampshire. Polson Lumber, 603-444-5425. Follow us on Facebook. Polson Lumber, where you can build more than you think for less than you thought. I used to think college was. All right, they've uh, they're tending to Jackson Clough, 
And uh, we're ready to resume action. Mike Rodriguez, he's got, he's the leading scorer. He's got 11. And that one spins out and right back in again. Only a freshman. I remember seeing him play, I think I mentioned this to you, in a uh, JV game last year. And that one's no good in grabbing the rebound, Wakeham. Littleton has cut it to less than double digits, though. They're now down by nine. Eight seconds, six seconds to go in the uh, third quarter. Leslie. Leslie's going to take this one. And he nails a three at the buzzer. And Alex Leslie's having himself a heck of a game. Eight points in that quarter. And that gives him 16 for the ball game. And it is 50 to 38 in favor of Profile. And a 20-point quarter there for the Profile Patriots. So they've got 18, 12, and 20. And Woodsville, or I'm sorry, uh, Littleton in that quarter picked up 15. So they scored pretty well in that quarter. They, they did. Uh, they, they got themselves back in there. They, got, they cut the lead down uh, to nine points here late. But that three-pointer got Profile back to a 12-point a cushion as we head into the last quarter of the game. He's got 16 points. Josh Roby only had two in that quarter, but he's got 13 for the ball game. And Caden Wakeham has 10. So those three yeah. guys have combined for 39 of their uh, 50 points. Clough has seven, and Carson Roby has four. Yeah, Roby and Leslie certainly are the two uh, mainstays offensively for this profile team, but they've done a nice job getting everybody involved tonight. The lack of three-point shooting has really hurt Littleton. They've made only two threes in this ball game, as compared to the six made by uh, the pro Profile Patriots. And we'll give Profile a little credit for that because they have defended well all the way out to that three-point arc. Hoskins thought he got fouled on that pass as he was in, in the middle of a double team, but not called. Reggie lobs down low for Rodriguez, who backs in and banks uh, it home. What a great move by a young player. He's the leading scorer with 13. And you, we mentioned uh, a couple of times that uh, Coach Roy wanted to stop Caden Hoskins. Hoskins has seven. Leslie gets the runner up, and he's going to be called for travel. Another thing that's made this game pretty uh, intense and interesting is the fact that that was only the ninth turnover by profile, eight by Littleton. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's been well played. Littleton hasn't uh, made as many shots. Obviously, they're down by 10. Um, the profile defense has been in their face the whole night. And knocked out of bounds out of, off of Leslie. He didn't like the call very well. And now Clough comes back in. It's good to see Clough back in the ball game. He replaces uh, Burnell, who played a tiny bit in the first half and came in to replace the injured Clough at the end of that third quarter. Grady Hadlock on the floor, has a lane, takes it to the basket, and banks it up, no good, and swooping in for the rebound, but knocking it to Leslie was Rodriguez. Up at the other end, Carson Roby looked like he wanted to take that shot, but didn't. They really have gone pretty much with five players in this game as the shot rattles in and out, and Rodriguez managed not yeah. to go out of bounds as he grabbed that ninth rebound. That was an amazing play because he got up pretty high to grab that rebound. That ball thrown right into the chest of Wakeham, and he goes coast to coast. He's got 12. Yeah. Pressure defense from these Patriots has been outstanding tonight. Littleton's a good basketball team, and they're a good offensive basketball team, but to be at 40 here with six and a half minutes to go, when you average 72, credit to your opponent. Profile's defense has been very good. And baseline feed for Hadlock. Now Rodriguez fakes the three. Hadlock fakes the three as well. Tough pass for Hoskins who takes the three and nails it. So he finally gets one. And it's now 52-43. As we're two minutes into this third quarter, fourth quarter. And even that one, he had to get that shot elevated a bit to get over a defender coming at him with raised arm. Plant is always in the starting lineup for uh, for pa the Patriots, but they generally play Wakeham a lot more. Runner is up and good by Carson Roby. He's got six, and it's now 54-43. Nice play by Carson Roby there as the defense went to their two big scorers and left him a spot in the lane. 
And he took it. Wide open three for Hadlock. No good. And chasing down the rebound is Lord. And they're going to call foul, looks like, on Josh Roby. That's the first one on him. And Gray Aikens he, back in the game. A little bit of controversy over there. Well, Coach Howard uh, telling the official he thought he called a timeout uh, that time, and it wasn't granted. And another reach-in foul, this time by Leslie. Nobody in any real foul trouble for uh, the Patriots. Jackson Clough has three. A little over five minutes to play in this one. 11-point game in favor of visiting profile. Hoskins for three, and that's good. Big shot there by Hoskins. Second in a row from distance. That'll be a problem for profile if he starts cooking. He now has 13. Half of his points almost in this quarter in the first three minutes. Well, in the first, uh, first couple quarters, he was playing in the paint. Josh Roby now. Uh, a little bit of trouble with it with Landon Lord draped on him, but he gets it back out to Caden Wakeham. Good game by him. Actually, good game by everybody on the floor. Yeah, nice job by Profile here. Just slowing it down a little bit. Don't need to be in a hurry. You've got a little over four minutes to go, and you've got a, you've got a lead. Josh Roby will inbound underneath. Play control offense at this point in the game if you're the profile Patriots. And a timeout called. And a smart timeout there by Josh Roby as he just wasn't able to get the ball in. Tomorrow, I will be over at St. Johnsbury for their boys basketball game against Rutland. That should be a good one. And uh, by the way, in the uh, one of the other games on NSN, it was uh, Groveton defeating Colebrook in girls basketball 70 to 60 a Groveton team only with with only one loss and uh, see if we can get a score on the uh, boys game over there we talked about it during the girls game but we have a lot of good basketball being played in the north country and uh, northern part of Vermont we are fortunate to be uh, witnessing some really good stuff here in these high school programs in the northern part of the state they had to uh, pull back the curtain to add some seats for yeah. this game tonight. Yeah, and they're still standing in the corners. This is an uh, unbelievable crowd here tonight, which we expected. Two teams, 10-0, and 0, coming in. A tenth of a point separated them in the standings from number one to number two. Jackson Clough was almost trapped, but he got it to Leslie. Now a three by Carson Roby. Front iron no good, and grabbing the rebound is Reggie. Dre Aikens back in the game with four fouls. And a tough move to the basket. Rodriguez couldn't quite get the roll, and Leslie pulls away his eighth rebound. Up at the other end, he had almost lost it. Yeah, he had it on his hip there for a second. Driving is Josh Roby. No good, and he's able to draw the foul. <laughs> Trevor Howard with two hands on his head that time. I think maybe more hoping that it wasn't a foul. 3.43 to go, eight-point game. They've done a nice job of stopping Roby in the second half, but they really haven't done a nice job of stopping Alex Leslie. And for that matter, Caden Wakeham, who's got seven points. Leslie has eight. Back in comes Camden Cook. Roby hits the first free throw. He's got 14. Make it 15. Boy, these teams are going to be around tournament time, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're going to play again on the... 31st of January. We'll have it right here on NSN. And there's a good bet. We'll see them playing each other in the playoffs as well. Well, I don't know if there's a good bet, but there's a. it's certainly a good possibility. It's certainly a chance. Skipped across for Reggie. Now Cook goes to Hopkins. Back for Cook, and they just cannot get an open shot. Reggie to the basket strong. Yeah, nice drive by Reggie that time. There was a lot of pressure on the outside shooters that time. They found Reggie with a chance to uh, get to the hoop, and he converted. They're going to need a stop here, though, if they want to get back into it with three minutes to go. Roby 
tries to go by Cook. He's got an open lane, oh, and he, I think his shot was blocked by Cook. Yeah, nice job defensively because Profile played that really well and left the middle wide open. Hoskins fakes the three. Cook takes the three. A little strong, but Reggie snags the rebound. And Trevor Howard, I, no, I take that back. I was going to say I thought he called for a timeout, but they called a foul the, on uh, Carson Roby. Carson Roby, right. If Littleton could get something out of this offensive possession, it's going to get pretty interesting toward the end of the game. 2.40 to go. Akins fakes the three. Zips it across. Oh, and a pass was oh, – I, thought it, I it, thought it was a missed pass, but it was knocked out of bounds with the leg of, Cars, of uh, Jackson Clough. Yeah, nice to see Jackson Clough back out here after hitting the ground – or the ground, the floor really hard. And it's inbounded to Cook. Dre Aikens now goes to Rodriguez. Tries to make a move. Finds an open Reggie for three. A little bit long and another rebound this time by Clough, his sixth. And uh, Camden Cook was lucky not to get a foul there as he swiped at the ball. Missed. May have made contact. No call. And a foul call on Dre Aikens, and that's it for him. He'll finish with seven. And back in comes Grady Hadlock. Yeah, sometimes we talk about how quick he is, but sometimes he's too quick for his own good. He just uh, um, clearly made contact. He's angrily uh, unlacing his shoes. Well, it's tough for them to lose that speed on the court here in the last two minutes of the game. Coming to the two-minute mark, an eight-point lead for Profile. They're going to slow things down. And Roby somehow manages to avoid having the ball stolen <laughs> really from him did right a good there. Good job. They may want to uh, call, uh, commit a couple of fouls here to get to the shooting part of things as they're just running the ball around. Yeah, using a lot of time on this possession. And they finally do call a foul. Hoskins doesn't like it. But... Uh, Not a shooting foul, though. I think the uh, foul may have been on Rodriguez, or was it Hoskins? Yeah, it was Rodriguez. Uh, again, we're not too much in danger of people fouling out, with the exception of Dre Aikens. Right. And Clough still has just three. He's uh, the only one in foul trouble for the uh, Patriots. And again, remember, these two schools will... Have another doubleheader against each other 12 days from now. And that'll be at the Profile School, which is not too far from here. It's literally four miles. Uh, well, as a crow flies, it's really, really close. <laughs> and uh, in the girls game, it was kind of over pretty early in that one as uh, just Profile just couldn't make any shots. They couldn't. And that 12-0 run that Littleton had there in the first half really put separation in there and a lot of pressure on Profile. Didn't help that Maya Brown picked up some fouls uh, and was forced to sit out some of the game. But with 138 to go, looks like the boys' team will get a little redemption, perhaps. Well, we've got an eight-point game here. 138 to go, as Jonathan mentioned. Um, this has been a good one. Boy, two really athletic clubs here playing tonight. Well-played basketball game. Really tough, tough defense. And they're trying to get the ball from Leslie, and they just couldn't do it. They triple-teamed him. And it looks like Mitch Roy may have called for a timeout there before um, anything was called. So uh, Referee Bruce Mason is uh, signaling the timeout, yes, so there will not be a foul assessed as the timeout came first. Now, also remember that uh, NSN has partnered with the NFHS, the National Federation of High Schools, and while the games will not be aired on our network, our uh, production people will be involved going forward with uh, 
the high school basketball yes. tournaments, Turn not to only play. in Vermont, New Hampshire, but in perhaps in Maine and Massachusetts as well. Hockey? Will we be doing hockey as well? We'll be should be doing some hockey as well. And I know that the a lot of those tournaments are set up a lot where all five groups or four groups play all in one day. So that's certainly easy from the perspective of uh, production. Leslie now, and they're just throwing the ball around, waiting to get fouled. With a minute yeah. and 16 to go, and Rodriguez will commit his second foul in about 20 seconds. Mitchell Roy just wants them to use some clock, and that's uh, that's wise at this point. Rodriguez has had a heck of a game, 14 points and nine rebounds. Boy, what a good-looking young player he is. And the ball's in the backcourt to Alex Leslie. And yeah, they put it in the backcourt in the hands of uh, their two leading scorers. Josh Roby tried to run by Grady Hadlock and uh, draw the foul. So now two shots. Again, they will be shooting the rest of this game. Yeah, either Roby or Leslie was going to go to the line. That's the only two they had inbounding the ball to. Good decision there on the part of profile. Two fouls now on Grady Hadlock. And that's another reason for the uh, margin in this game is Grady Hadlock has been held scoreless. Now it's back to a 10-point lead. Cook is out there because he's a good three-point shooter. He'll try it right now. A little bit long. And a couple players sneak in to try to grab the rebound, but they knock it out of bounds. And I think you can mm. kind of start feeling that, uh, that it's going to go profiles way tonight. The outside shooting. Outside shooting has really been uh, an advantage for Profile, and they have extended their defense to the point that they've created a very difficult situation for the uh, Littleton shooters from distance. So going to the free throw line will be Jackson Clough. And it was that one stretch towards the end of the half. It was 23-21, and then seven straight points by profile. Uh, really put some distance. And though the lead has gone up to as much as 14, they've never been able to get it down below eight points since. Clough gets one of two. That makes him for the game. Now three, four for six, and he's got eight points. And lobbed into the quarter. Cook fakes the three, goes baseline, and it was kicked out of bounds by Alex Leslie. But uh, they just called it for going out of bounds. Quick reflexes. Three-pointer by Hadlock. A little bit long. And the rebound grabbed by Riley Plant. Their shooting percentage on threes is very low today, unusually so. Other than those two by uh, Had uh, uh, I'm Hoskins. Sorry, by Hoskins yeah, in this fourth half. quarter. Yep. Uh, those those are two of the only four that they've made in this game. And, uh, again, just really good play. And Josh Roby has managed to pick up five for five free throw shooting here in this fourth quarter. And this that, is, too, has been a factor. This has been good, hard-nosed basketball. Rodriguez cannot get by Plant. Yeah, their profile's defense just been impressive all night long. And let's see, it looks like they called Clough for reaching in. And that will be on Clough, his fourth. And only the fourth team foul, so uh, Littleton still not shooting. And almost intercepted. Good one-touch pass to Rodriguez. No good. And the rebound grabbed by Caden Wake Wakeham. Another three-point miss for Littleton. That's kind of been the story here. And the fact that Profiles played such good defense. And Josh Roby now picks up eight points for the quarter. And Profile will take over as the number one team in the state of New Hampshire in Division Four with a 63-48 to victory over the... Middleton Crusaders. Yeah, really impressive win for a profile coming in here on the road, taking it right to the home team, and uh, they deserve this victory. They played really, really well. So 18, 12, 20, and 13 for profile, 14, 9, 15, and 10 for Littleton. Let's take a break. We'll be back with the White Mountains Community College player of the game. You're watching the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN Broadcast Network. 
Crosstown Motors, located in the heart of the North Country, wants to be your first choice for your next new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat, or pre-owned vehicle. Doing business in New England for more than 50 years, we continue to provide exceptional sales and service with a down-home feel. Part of the Auto Saver Group and home of the big deal, check us out at CrosstownMotors.net or visit us at 650 Meadow Street in scenic Littleton, New Hampshire. All right, profile with a solid 63-48 victory over Littleton in this battle of unbeaten teams. And usually, profile, uh, they win with shootouts and stuff like that, but tonight they played a heck of a defensive game. And here's the White Mountains Community College, uh, White Mountains Community College player of the game, and that's Alex Leslie. And Alex, your defense really did the job tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. You, uh, you yourself also contributed eight big points in that uh, third quarter when you really kind of put some distance uh, between the two teams. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, I mean, they guarded me pretty well underneath, so I knew I kind of had to confidently shoot the ball, which I'm okay with. I've been working on my jump shot in the off season, but uh, my teammates really came to play today. Jackson did a really great job. Everyone off the bench came in ready to play, played great defense. I mean, we're going to win with our defense. Our offense, yeah, we run and score, but our defense, we really hold it down in there, and uh, that's kind of what we live by. And one last thing for you tonight, you really seem to find the, you were always in the right spot on the floor. And, uh, you know, that's just a, it's a compliment to you. But just talk about that a little bit. Uh, I mean, we're taught by our great coach that uh, never stay stagnant on the floor. So you always got to be moving and cutting and eventually you guys will find you. We got great passers. So if you move to the right spot and get there, it'll get you easy buckets. And, you know, I live for those. Well, tremendous job tonight by you. Well done. Let's take a break, and we'll be back with the uh, final words. You're watching the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN Broadcast Network. Crosstown Motors, located in the heart of the North Country, wants to be your first choice for your next new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat, or pre-owned vehicle. Doing business in New England for more than... Crosstown Motors, located in the heart of the North Country, wants to be your first choice for your next new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Fiat, or pre-owned vehicle. Doing business in New England for more than 50 years, we continue to provide exceptional sales and service with a down-home feel. Part of the Auto Saver Group and home of the big deal, check us out at CrosstownMotors.net or visit us at 650 Meadow Street in scenic Littleton, New Hampshire. For the uh, closing of tonight's doubleheader, each school picked up a win. And here in the nightcap, it was uh, profile over Littleton, 63-48. to And just had a chat with the White Mountains Community College player of the game, Alex Leslie, who very humble and did a heck of a job on the floor tonight. And he finished with 16 points. He didn't score in the fourth quarter. But they didn't really need him to. He just played great defense, and as he was discussing, and Paul Wheeler, that was uh, one heck of a night of basketball. Oh, profile really, really outdid themselves. They played really well tonight, especially on the defensive end, and they shared the ball well offensively, which isn't all the time the case. They usually have two big guns out there scoring a lot of points, but they shared the ball well offensively. They played great defense, extending their defense all the way out to the three-point line and really guarding that shot well. Littleton was not successful from long distance tonight at all. A couple of players who really were stifled. Um, Caden Hoskins, he finished with 13, but he had seven going into the fourth quarter, and that was a problem. Grady Hadlock was held scoreless. That was a problem, but let's give credit where it's due, and uh, Profile should be the number one team in the state. We don't know how it's going to go exactly in the rankings because they actually, if you watch the column, it was uh, Derryfield was in front of them. Well, but but uh, uh, Derryfield and Profile had the same number of index points going into this one, so I do believe uh, with this win that the Profile Patriots will take over the number one ranking in New Hampshire's Division Four. Okay, let's review the scoring real fast. Mike Rodriguez led the way for Littleton with 14. 13 by Caden Hoskins, 11 by Sam Reggie. He had a heck of a game. Dre Akins, when he was on the floor, played pretty well. He finished with seven, but he was in foul trouble the whole game. Landon Lord had three. Camden Cook and Grady Hadlock did not score. 
four profile, 21 points by Josh Roby. And great free throw shooting down the end by him. He was six for six in the fourth quarter. 16 by Alex Leslie, 11 by Caden Wakeham, uh, 8 by Jackson Clough, 6 by Carson Roby, Danny Burnell, Ryan Plant, Noah Francis did not score. Any final comments, Paul? Oh, man, really impressive uh, job by the Profile Patriots in here. Coming in here on the road, big crowd, um, really, really played well on both ends of the court. And for Littleton, you know they're going to be back. This is a strong team. They didn't shoot the ball well tonight. Uh, they got in a little bit of foul trouble. Akins was not on the floor as much as they probably wanted him to be. But these two teams will be there in the end. You can count on them uh, taking a shot at a title once the season's over. All right, thanks to the production team, Cole Lemieux, Sean McCaffrey, and Dylan Bunnell. Thanks, of course, to Paul Wheeler, who's a couple of days migrating back to Florida. I'm sure not sure if we have any other games together, but we may. And thank you to our... I do, too. And thank you to our sponsors for tonight, Littleton Chevrolet, Crosstown Chrysler, Dodge Jeep, Ram, and Fiat, the Hadlock Group, Best Insurance, and Concord Group Insurance Companies, White Mountains Community College, W.W. Berry's Transportation, Berlin City Auto Group, Maplewood Golf Course, Mountain View Dental, Napa NS, or I'm sorry, Napa CNS Auto and Truck Parts, the Little Grill Tap Room, <laughs> Tap Room and Eatery, Lahoots Apartments, Presby Energy, Hiller Orthodontics, uh, Paulson Lumber, Iron Furnace Brewing, Ward Law Group. Uh, Fireside Hearth and Leisure, the News and Sentinel on our very own NSN Digital Download and DVD Store, Norcom Mortgage, Hammerdown Construction, and Franconia Base Camp. So for everybody involved, thanks to both schools for providing a heck of a, a bit of action here for basketball tonight. The final score of the boys' game was Profile, remaining unbeaten 63-48 with their win over Littleton. You've been watching the Littleton Chevrolet Crosstown Motors NSN Broadcast Network.